First Take on a Tuesday. Welcome in. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Max Kellerman, Stephen A. Smith. I'm Molly Karen. What's up? We had How some, are you? We had some good action last night, and we had some, some bad Hubs. action. Woo. It was special, but then, you know, it was offset by what we saw. Oh. We were supposed to have a Monday night football. I think yeah. this is one of those days where ESPN should go up to the NFL League office and ask for some money back. You saw Pop Warner the out Jets. there. I never yeah. seen anything quite like that. It, we'll get into it. It was bad. All right, let's start with Clay Thompson. He dropped 60, yes, you heard that right, 60 points in a 142-106 win over the Pacers. But it gets better, folks. He put up 60 in just 29 minutes. That's the fewest minutes played in a 60-point game in the shot clock era. We're talking back in the 50s. And that works out an average of 2.7 points per minute. <laughs> Stephen A., we might surprise some folks with this question. Here it is. If you had to get rid of one of the players in the big three for the Warriors, who would it be? Max, 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 I need, I need, I need, I need, I need to explain this. Who would you let go of? Ladies and gentlemen, of the big three, right now, I would let go of Steph Curry. Stop it. <laughs> I would. Stop it. <laughs> let, me, let me explain. Why would anyone let ever let go of Steph Curry? Let me explain. Let me explain. You, you, you do know they call me Stephen Naismith for a reason. Mm. Break it. Let me break it down. Let okay. me break it down. I told. I understand. Mm. I am willing to concede the blasphemy yeah. coming out of my mouth. Because it's sounding listen, asinine listen, out of 10. That's right. You. Understand. Listen. See I that, that car? That, get rid of the engine. That, 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 I, I if feel you. If you had to get rid of one thing, get listen, rid of the listen, engine. Listen, I, I beg your indulgence. I beg your indulgence. I need y'all to listen to me. I, let me All break right. this down for y'all. Let's hear it. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter I've ever seen. He's a bad, bad man. No question. No question about it. But on this team, I got a six foot eleven dude by the name of Kevin Durant with a seven six wingspan who can pull up from thirty and average and, and average shoot forty percent from the field and drop thirty a game. I got a dude in Klay Thompson who has clearly proven that he is one of the top two shooters in all of basketball. We're not disputing that, are we? We're not disputing that, right? No. We know that Steph Curry's number one is a shooter. We know what he brings to the table. This dude is. Mega, I, I'm, I mean no disrespect at all. But if I had to let go of one of them, I got a dude in Klay Thompson that even Charles Barkley has said may be the best two-way player in basketball. He's not only a shooter. He's not, but go you know, ahead. No, 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 wait a minute. Best two-way player. No. I'm just saying, when you think about, listen, he's 6'6". Six, six Love Klay. No. And can guard three positions. All I'm saying to you is that I have to think about that combined with the shooting, combined with Kevin Durant, and ask myself, how much in danger am I of losing that element from them if I don't have Clay? See, I'm, I'm sorry, if I don't have Steph. That's my point and where I'm going with all of this. I know that Steph can create his own shot. He can boogie on anybody. He got the nasty handle. He can pull up from anywhere. He's the best shooter in the game. He is elite. I mean, I, I mean no disrespect. Clay, I mean, Steph Curry, oh, my God. I mean no disrespect. He's that big time. But because Kevin Durant is there, if you sat up there and said, you get to, now, now, Steph is box office, so if you did, we bring a box office appeal, no, no, no. Steph is box office, I get that. But if you're talking about purely basketball skill on both ends of the court and what they can bring, I'm not going to lie to you, Max Kellerman, even though he wasn't 100%, as I've said to you on many occasions, you have never hesitated to point out how suspect Steph was in the finals. And I'm thinking about the defensive liability he could be at times. I don't see that in, in Kevin Durant. I don't see that in Klay Thompson. And that I, I would never want to lose Steph. But if I had to lose one of the three and I didn't have to take box office into consideration, just purely basketball, I, I, I got to say, I would be looking to hold on to the two bigger dudes who can also shoot and defend. God bless you, Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> Boy, mean, you make this easy. You are so wrong about this. Yeah, Look, I understand. I understand. let's start with what makes this team go, okay? Now, 
it's not just that they're willing to pass the ball. These dudes enjoy passing the ball to one another. They like it. They like hooking their teammates up. They like setting off ball screens, all that stuff. And that starts really with Steph as the leader of the team. But, and, and that's why Kevin Durant wanted to sign, because he looked at them and thought, there's no personality problems on this team. There's no who's alpha, who's this, who's that. It's let's just play the right way. And that's why Clay Thompson's able to drop 60 in three quarters, by the way. And I'd have left him in in the fourth. It's early in the season. Let's see how many he can go for. But he's able to do that because of the environment that Steve Kerr and Steph Curry have created. The kind of machine this is. Now think about Who's able to do this? What's that? Clay. Clay's able to score 60. He'd be dropping. Listen, Clay gets preternaturally hot anyway. He dropped 26 in a quarter last year. That wasn't his best quarter ever. 37. 37. Against How are you going to drop 26 points in a quarter? And it's like, that's not even close to my best quarter. I don't even think last night's his most impressive performance. 37 points in a quarter and then 60 in three quarters. So, so he, it's not that he doesn't have a crazy release, infinite range, all those things. He does. But he's uniquely skilled to take advantage of what the Warriors have created. And how have the Warriors created it? Like, what's the number one ingredient? It's Steph Curry. Look, ideally what you'd like to do to Klay Thompson is make him put the ball on the floor and turn him into a decision maker, right? It's not that he's terrible at that, but that's not what he's elite at. If you're playing the Golden State Warriors and you can do that, you've created maybe the optimal scenario for your defense. But not, you can't say that about Steph Curry. Let him put the ball on the floor and turn him into a decision maker. He's a very good one. He's very good at that. He's the guy who makes the entire team go. And because the primary ball handler will, handler will not only do things unselfishly like set off ball screens, etc., but also has infinite range as Clay does and has the ball in his hand bringing it up the court, you got to pick those guys up so early defensively. You have so much extra space that you need to rotate to get to a guy like Clay. And by the way, because of all the things I just mentioned, it's not just threes. He was eight from 14 last night from three. That's 24 of his points. If my math is correct, three times eight, right? Carry the two, yeah. right. 24 points. What about all those other points? The other 36 points, easy cuts. Because of the Warriors' offense on another team, Clay doesn't get to do those things because another team doesn't have Steph Curry. Well, I, well, well, I disagree with that. And in all honesty, I think that Clay could be Clay with Chris Paul. I think that Clay could be Clay with LeBron. I think that Clay could be Clay with various guys because his movement without the basketball is good as well, and he deserves credit for that. But again, this is a hard argument because I'm not trying to sit up there and act like I don't recognize the greatness of a Steph Curry. I'm just saying that I'm also recognizing the greatness of a Clay and a Kevin Durant combined with their physicality in this NBA game. I think the fact that Clay is 6'6 and can guard three different positions matters. I think the fact that Kevin Durant is 6'11 and can guard three different positions matter. You're speaking about offense. I'm speaking about all of it. And I'm saying to you the combination you of Clay is a better overall player than Steph Curry? You don't think so? Yes, I do. Is Klay Thompson a top five player in the NBA? Is, is Klay Thompson a top defender? Is he a top five no, player? No, no, Because in the end, you add it all no, up. No, we think about offense. I would definitely give Steph the edge over Klay offense because yes. I think that Klay is more of a shooter. And Steph Curry, even though he's the greatest shooter that I've ever seen, he can score a myriad of ways. Yes. But my point to you is that Steph ain't even in the same stratosphere defensively, defensively yeah, but as Klay Thompson. Add it all up. So, all right. Add it all well, up. But because Who's a better player? I'm going to sit there and say to you, Steph, because Steph is a point guard, mm -hmm. and as a point guard, you're a floor general. It's almost the equivalent of a quarterback. I get that, but I'm telling you. But he plays but, point guard because he's able to but, play but, but, point but guard. Let me, but let me be clear. What I'm saying to you is that on this Golden State Warriors team, I didn't say overall in terms of Steph just a player isolated, Clay just a player isolated. On the Golden State Warriors, if you lost Steph, but you had Kevin Durant yeah. with Clay, how much you lose it? More than if you lose anyone no, no, else, no, no. including I, I, Kevin let me, Durant. Let me tell you something right now. I think that the Golden State Warriors, without Steph Curry, but with Clay and Kevin Durant together, are easily 65 game winners. Easy. I don't know. Easy. I, I'd have to Easy. Think about how many games e they win? E e they win a lot of games, but what makes them different than everybody else? Number one is Steph Curry. And now, ultimately, and it, Kevin Durant's so good, you have to put him there. But before Durant got to the team, if you asked me the second most important player in terms of the way the team functions, I'd say Draymond. But, 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 but let me tell you this: it's not an accident 
and let's put on our antennas here. Okay. And you'll get where I'm going. It's not an accident that Steph comes out in public about less than two weeks ago, and he says, I can't see myself anywhere else but here, barring any curveballs. Mm -hmm. What on earth would possibly be a curveball other than the arrival of Kevin Durant? Because when you look without Kevin Durant, I would never dare utter such blasphemy. But the fact of the matter is Kevin Durant is that surreal, that big time, that much of a package on both you ends of the court. You brought up the fact that it was off the court income as it relates to sponsorships. I, I, I brought that yeah. up, but I didn't limit it to that. I'm saying to you that Kevin Durant being on the team, a neighbor, I'm not saying that you want to do it. Who's the best player on the I'm Warriors? Say, who's the what? best player on the Warriors? Kevin Durant. Who's the second best player on the Warriors? Well, again. Steph was, Curry. I'm going to give it to Steph Curry. Oh. He's your point You don't guard. have to give it to him. He but, took it. But let me say this. If you're talking about Steph Curry, and Clay Thompson isolated fine. Yeah. I'm talking about the compilation Even more of the, the way State the Warriors. Golden State Warriors I mean, function. But, 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 Even more. But you're talking Clay like I'm, is you're the talk, beneficiary but you're, but of you're it. talking like we're just trying to give somebody away. The question is if we had to let go of yes. one. If of we the had to let go of yes. one. Clay. I'm saying Sorry, to Clay. you. I'm saying to you. It's, 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 look, man. Love this, you, Michael. But see you later, Clay. If you had to lose a layer, I got to tell you. I got to tell I love me some Steph Curry. He's the greatest shooter I've ever seen. But in terms of a complete game, yeah. Clay Thompson and what he brings right. to you defensively, combined with what he does on the court, combined with Kevin Durant yeah. being his teammate, I cannot. I would have that match. I got to tell you, I might lean towards Clay. Man, and I wish Kevin you were a GM and we could be trading players. Let me tell you something but right now. You can say you want to get you, you want to whatever you want to say. Steph off the Warriors. I, I promise you, I'm not losing. Over over I'm Clay. Not, I'm not losing anything keeping Clay. Clay's a bad boy. Yeah, who, Clay's a who bad, gives you Clay the dribble is, penetration, a, by the way? That's true, that's also, true. Also, you're going to go pick up Damian Lillard, fine. I, but if Damian Lillard's not available, who you got running the point? I, I, I cannot believe how hard-headed you are. You're, I keep saying to you, the acquisition of Kevin Durant enables me to not have to be concerned about those you things. You still need a penetrating point guard I'm, who can shoot. I'm telling you right now. You can, let me tell you this. And one. pass. And, and, I'm not, and, and, and I'm play not saying, unselfish. And I'm not saying that I would want him because he can't shoot worth a damn. But Rondo can penetrate and dish. There's a whole bunch oh, of Oh, yeah. Rondo would be dish. great on the Warriors. And, no, I'm just telling you. <laughs> no, he wouldn't be great on the Warriors. But for the purposes of Durant and Klay Thompson, yes. I'm only making that argument to say you could go out there and find somebody to penetrate and dish it Easier off. To I can't ignore that. The, Easier to approximate Clay in the offense, get a two guard who can a three and D two Clay, guard. Clay Thompson, it's easier to you're find not, than you're not thinking, Steph Curry why am, I, why am I not surprised? You're not thinking about defense at all. I you're love not, defense. Listen, listen. Did you watch the Warriors in the finals last year? <laughs> yes. Clay showed up. Yes. Yeah. Clay's a better fact, defender than Steph. Matter of fact, Clay, and when you Steph, add that all up, Steph's still better. Listen, than Clay. listen. Steve Kerr was perceived as somebody who dropped the ball because there were times when he didn't get Clay the ball as much as he should have. Mm -hmm. Let's not ignore that. All right. So yeah. Stephen A is getting rid of Chef yeah, Curry uh, with the, the shot, and we're get getting rid of Clay, who just dropped 60. I would also, like to, Steph I would also ball, like to add yeah. there would not have been a game seven in the Western Conference Finals if Klay Thompson hadn't shown up and dropped 41 on him. There wouldn't have been a That's game fair. one in the Western Conference Finals without Steph Curry. Well, they're both Gotta them. Leave Kevin it. Durant wasn't there. This was good. I like this one. We want to hear from you guys, though. Head over to Twitter. Weigh in here. Let us know which of the Warriors' big three you would let go of if you had to. We'll share those results a little later in the show. I'm really <laughs> curious to see what other people have to say about this. But uh, some people, they showed out last night, as we just mentioned. Others, they didn't even show up. Jen